Hi, it's Jeff again from Picture Time, and obviously we're not cruising today. What do you do in Minnesota when the weather is frightful? Well, today we've got another project for you. My wife and I got a new bed, and it's one of those beds that has the active base on it, so you can tip it up and stuff like that. And our old bedroom set really didn't work with it, so we wanted to build a brand new headboard to go with the new bed. So if you've seen our barn door build and our accent wall build that we've done, obviously we're kind of doing that modern rustic look and I wanted the similar look for the headboard. I looked around the internet to find some ideas, looked on Pinterest and kind of combined a bunch of ideas to build this. And so I wanna show you the new headboard and show you how you can build it yourself. The first thing that I recommend doing is drawing out some plans. Our bed is a queen mattress, which measures 60 inches wide by 80 inches deep. And we wanted the headboard to extend just a little bit beyond the mattress and frame on either side. So we chose to make our headboard 68 inches total width. And then I measured from the floor to the picture that we mounted on the wall, and I knew that I wanted the bed frame to come up 46 inches from the floor. First, I drew out some plans. You can really decide what size you wanna make your headboard. You might choose to make yours taller or wider. If you have a king mattress or a twin, you can make it wider. The key is just measure the size that you wanna build, and then it really helps to draw it out ahead of time so you can make sure you get enough materials. So our total height for our headboard will be 46 inches high by 68 inches wide. I also wanted to build the frame so that the frame was a little bit inside the barn wood so that we could add some ambient lighting later. The frame is slightly smaller in width than the overall width of the headboard. After we got our measurements, my son and I ran down to our local home improvement store. We actually had to go to a couple different stores to figure out which kind of wood we wanted to use. We basically used one by four pine for the frame, and then Menards had this faux barn wood planks that was about nine and a half square foot per box that was already finished like we liked it. And uh, we started with three boxes, but ended up we only needed to use two boxes. So I was able to return a box. We built this whole bed frame, including all the materials, screws and barn wood planks and frame boards for under $100. After we drew out and designed our frame, we knew that we needed two boards that were 62 inches wide two boards that were 45 inches high, and then five boards where we would eventually mount our barn wood planks at 37 inches high. So we made those measurements and then we purchased the wood accordingly. We also wanted to make sure that we got the right fasteners or screws. So for the two boards that went together, we chose number six Phillips head drywall screws that were one and a quarter inch thick. You wanna make sure you use the screws properly that won't go all the way through the frame. Another thing that we noticed that was helpful is this one by four wood that we purchased at Home Depot wasn't perfectly straight. So when we build the frame and laid it up against the wall, we noticed that there was a slight warp. And so what we'd recommend doing, especially in a bed like this where the headboard is not attached to the bed frame, is to find a stud on the wall and screw the headboard base right to the wall, which pulled it completely straight. What I then did is I built the 68 inch by 40 inch covering in barnwood out in the garage and I cut all the pieces to fit. Our boards were five inches high and so we knew that we needed eight high by five in order to get our 40 inch height. And so we cut them out in the garage and laid them out so that they were all cut to size and shape before we brought them upstairs to fasten to our frame. We brought it up to the room and laid the frame down on the floor and we started screwing the cover. After getting the frame mounted to the wall with the stud and getting it true and straight, we affixed all the barnwood planks to the frame. And to affix the barnwood planks, we used number six by three quarter inch screws, again, so we wouldn't go all the way through our mounting boards. So we fastened the barnwood planks to the frame and uh, the total square footage was within inches of what we bought in those packages and ended up with very, very little scrap on this job. So it worked out well. Towards the bottom of the frame, I did need to make a couple of gaps and use a couple of spare pieces of the barn wood just to fill in there, but that's below where the bed sits and was out of sight once we put the bed on the frame. We hope this has given you some ideas. Good luck with your project. Please subscribe to our channel, click like, and uh, feel free to share this. Participate with us in the comments section, and we look forward to seeing you again in the future. Thanks for watching and have a great day.